what is the value of 5 plus 2 all to be cubed over 5 squared minus 2 squared in its simplest form all right so look at the question here so there are two ways to do this question there is the long way and there is the short way so let us start off with the short way so you have the option of ignoring the long way if you choose to do that the short way is to recognize that 5 squared minus 2 squared is a difference of 2 squares that is the number 2 in the paper 2 which would then allow us to write out the 5 plus 2 cube so what we could do is write this out as right, 5 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 all over 5 squared minus 2 squared difference of 2 squares we know that that would be 5 minus 2 into 5 plus 2 and once we do that we can now cancel this 5 plus 2 will cancel with this 5 plus 2 so that we now have 5 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 or 5 plus 2 squared over 5 minus 2 which would then be what um, 5 plus 2 into 5 plus 2 is 7 by 7 which would be 7 by 7 over 3 which would give you 49 over 3 as the answer all right and that is it so that's the short method you could roll with this if you want just a, no, a point to note though even though this method is shorter it relies upon you being able to recognize the 5 squared minus 2 squared as a difference of 2 squares right if you didn't recognize that as the difference of 2 squares then you have the option of actually multiplying out everything which as you will see in a moment will be a little more tricky all right so same question we will get with a slightly different method now so if we didn't recognize that this is the difference of two squares what you would have to do is to say that five plus two cubed will be five plus two is seven cubed five squared minus two squared is 25 minus four now remember you don't have the calculator in a multiple choice setting so you have to multiply this out 7 squared you should know by now is 49 and 49 by 7 would give us we go in the corner here now 49 by 7 9 sevens are 63 4 sevens are 28 and 6 is 34 so that would be so this would now be equal to 343 25 minus 4 is 21 all right so even in the case where you have to multiply in a multiple choice you have to be able to multiply this right which would rely upon you knowing that 9 sevens are 63 followed by 4 sevens are 20 so again tables 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 all right so you get the 343 here over 21 so this is where it becomes a, a little tricky if you had to go through this so in a case like this in a multiple choice setting given the question we have before us a obviously will be out of the picture as an answer because in a you have a smaller numerator a is a proper fraction then right our answer would clearly be an improper fraction so it has to either be b c or d we're not really sure we realize that it have a something going on with the 7 here b is 7 over 3 c is 7 over 2 and d is 49 over 3 so in a case like this the most sensible thing to do would be to start off by dividing by 7 because 7 seem to be the number that jumping up jumping out at us here in all of those three answers so 7 to 21 is 3 we know that from our three times tables and we just multiplied 49 by 7 here to get 343 so 7 into 343 has to be 49 so you have 49 here over 3 here and as it turns out you can't go any further than that all right so this was a little longer a little more long-winded it required a slightly different set of skills but important skills nevertheless so I just want to take this opportunity in this question to re-emphasize the need 
to know the difference of two squares, you have to be able to recognize it and you have to be able to employ it in your number two your algebra. Alright, and as you would see here, it also comes into play in a multiple choice where we were able to use it in a method before this to do a nice quick solution. And if we didn't for some reason recognize it in that particular solution, we had the option of running through this which would be a little more strenuous in terms of taxing your knowledge of your tables. All right? In the paper two, you'd have the calculator. In the paper one, you wouldn't have the calculator. The objective, of course, is to get the thing done and get it done properly. So that in this case, the answer that we will be looking for is D, 49 over three.